well. I've got all the parts, I just never did it. So today, we're going to make a joystick. We are going to make a joystick. You can see it's got the little front panel already cut out, nice and neat. And it's all lined up. And inside the box, we got some little sucky feet. And I don't think I'm going to use those because I'm not sure I like the suction feet. I got a bunch of little pads I'm going to put on the bottom here. Probably just put some fat pads for the little feet. That'll be happy. You can kind of see how these guys work. Comes with these little J hooks, little plastic J hooks. Basically, what you do is stick them through the hole, and through here you put the little J hook and something I suspect like that, and it holds it in. I guess maybe. I think that's what it does. But I don't know if I'm going to use them. We'll see. Put this back in. That's a little little pouch. And what's kind of neat about this, I think may be able to mount a Raspberry Pi on, on a couple of these. That was my initial thought. I'm going to put the little Raspberry Pi in here. And then I realized uh, once you put the joystick, the buttons and all that, it'll be tight. Very, very tight. So I'm just going to make a joystick. And also what I have, the key part, uh, your little USB encoder for your joystick, USB joystick encoder. And basically what you do is you plug in all of these little cables here with all these little convenient plugs into each one of these so each one of these goes to something different and I thought they were labeled maybe not uh oh they're not labeled yeah they're they're labeled over here but uh, so this will go to this button this goes to this button this button this button that kind of thing and then of course this goes to your joystick which is very conveniently you can see I picked yellow I'm not sure why I picked yellow Nice little clicky. It's already pre-wired up. has a little plug here, so that plug will plug right into the joystick. Uh, some of the other joysticks, uh, each individual switch you put in... Where's the switches? Looks like they're all right here. The switches, you have a little plug, two plugs for each, or two little wires for each one. But this one, pre-wired, so that's pretty cool. And then we have some buttons, and you can see i got a bunch of yellow buttons. But I originally wanted to use these fellows, but you can kind of see the difference. See the problem? This guy, if you put him in here, he does not fit. So you either have to make a little spacer, about a quarter inch spacer, get these to fit in there, or use these buttons. But I do prefer the arcade buttons over these, but these, these will work fine. These are some cheap buttons I had. And of course, got a couple smaller holes for the uh, player one, player two. And I got a couple of little white, little white ones. I'll fit that hole. So that's pretty cool. And I should have enough buttons. Oh, we have a yellow one too. I have enough buttons to do this. And just a little low profile. These work great. The other thing with the encoder, you if you wanted to use these, these buttons, uh, these little plugs, you have to cut all these little blades off because not going to fit. You have to put your own blades on. So a little more soldering or a little bit of wiring or a little chopping and wiring if you wanted to use something like this. So these actually worked out pretty good because you can just plug straight into the little blade connectors. And you don't want to do it right now because once it's on there, it's got like a little clip. And you got to reach in there with something very small and push it in to get it off. I tried it. That's how I know. So very simple, fun project. So what we're going to do is we are going to put this together. I'm put all these parts over here. I think I show you everything. I showed you everything. And I got all this stuff, I believe, off of uh, AliExpress from China. A couple years ago, two years ago, I just never finished it. But what we will do, so move him over here, we will plug in all these little fellows. So let's get a couple buttons, open up each one. Pretty simple, it's basically plug and play. The USB encoder pretty much does all the magic for you. And I think what we'll do is we'll peel this off. Ooh, look at that, nice and shiny. It's only shiny once. I'll plug in this fellow here. Yeah, get in there, baby. They're snug. Oh yeah, that works fine. Perfect. There's one. And there's... Oop, there's two. 
Probably should have got different colors, but eh, I like the yellow. Yellow and black looks pretty cool. I don't want to uh, do anything too wacky. Maybe on the next box, or the next joystick, I can make I'll use some different colors. You can always pop these out, too, if you don't like them. Just got to squeeze these fellows and, and push. Encoder will let you do all the configuration through uh, Windows. You can say this button is A, B, C, that kind of thing. I'll make, make some labels too for later on. Let's see if we can get her in there all the way. I think she's in there. And then one more. We got extra buttons too. Got a whole bunch of extra buttons. Here's an open one. So you kind of see how, it, how that works. And this is for the joystick. Then, I'll take these two little white ones here. And I don't think I spent very much money on these guys. These this stuff is all fairly inexpensive. Because so I think it came from China. But you can get this on Amazon, eBay. That's a pretty tall button. Pretty much anywhere you want. These don't fit very well, do they? Yeah, they'll, they'll stay. And that's your buttons. Then, what we'll do is put the joystick in. Where'd the joystick go? And Mr. Joystick, we're gonna get some screws. I gotta have to go get some screws. And you take off the ball. I'll kind of just show you really quick here. It's actually a really nice joystick. It's got a metal shaft. Really nice switches on it too, very nice. So we'll put him here, and he will go like that. And put that on there, kind of get the idea. So I think it did come with some screws. Let me see what kind of screws it got. I think there was just, let's see, one, two, These are to kind of hold it together. So one, two, three, four. Now oh, we got enough for a joystick. Let's put this in here, here. One, two, three, four. We do have enough. So we will plop that in here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oops. We'll get a little, little socket later on and tighten it all down if I don't keep dropping it in there. Come on, let go. That's where you need little hands, very little hands. There we go. Whee! And we'll do the next one. So, you kind of at the end, you kind of have to center it up how you like it. Give you a little, a little bit of adjustment, more of a groove here to kind of get close. Like I said, it'll be perfectly even. I don't think we'll have to center it. It's going to center itself. Put that one on. So this is kind of a fun little project be pretty easy. Just plug it in. I think the wiring is where you're gonna have a little difficulty because it's uh, a little iffy. I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. Looks nice, doesn't it? Probably what I should do next one, maybe this one, I'll print on a nice decal. Get a nice uh, glossy print sticker and stick it on there. Make it look professional and custom. I'm gonna do it, do it right. Hand snug them for now, in case we have to take it off for some reason. These will just kind of lock themselves down. There we go. Oh, very nice. And of course, the little beauty washer goes over that, to keep you from dropping crumbs in there. Put that back. Let's see. 
Let me put it on for now. Let's do it. Put the icing on the cake. Here. Nice little joystick. See, I got scratches on it. Then, so the next part is going to be the encoder. And I'm hoping it's got very, very small holes. We can somehow get these to line up somewhere in there. <clears throat> Maybe if we just put it over here. One screw, it'll sit nice and neat. I think I did notice this is designed for like a little groove. So you have like a little groove, you can pop it in there. But I think what we'll do is just stick it in there. You'll still be able to push it in, but you won't be able to pull it out. So I think that'll work. So that's gonna limit where we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go right there. I think that's the best way. But for now, we're gonna leave it loose. <clears throat> and joystick. I guess it depends where the joystick lines up to. Let's leave it loose. Let's leave it loose for now. And now this part here, let's get some side cutters. Cut this off. Let me get some side cutters. I had to take a little look at the encoder, I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, but anyway, uh, joystick, USB. And this was up, down, left, right. So I guess if you want to use left, up, down, left, right buttons, you can do that. This was, it's hard to see, this is like mode. Let me read it closer. Let me get a little closer look at it. Turbo, auto, clear, so some other buttons that we're not gonna use. Uh, we're basically gonna use these fellows down here. And I really don't think it matters because it's like basically one through 12, but if you look at these, they do say uh, K1, K2, K3, K4, L2, R2, L1, R1, K11, K12. But there's actually basically 12 ports and we're gonna just use the first six, and then maybe the last two for the player one, player two buttons, which we probably won't need because most of the stuff we're not, it's not gonna use it, but we're filling up the holes. So we'll put them on, in, on 11 and 12. 11 and 12 for that, and one through six for the buttons. And then the other ports we're not gonna use because we really have no use for those, for this application. It's a little confused. And normally, like um, when you wire up an arcade cabinet, uh, you'll have the ground going from button to button to button to button to button. So you'd have basically a wire going from here to 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 here. That kind of thing. But this one, I am thinking, and I'm kind of looking at the traces a little bit to see which, if it's the ground or the power. I really can't tell. I guess it really doesn't matter because it's probably going to go either way. Switch is either open or closed. Okay, so let's do that. So I got two but two wires, so that's all we need. So I think what we'll do is it's going to be a little tough to do this neatly, but we're going to do it neatly. Get all these pieces out of the way. I'll flip this fellow over. You can see. We'll plug in the joystick like that. There you go. Mr. Joystick's in. That'll work. And then, like I said, K1 is right here. So, button one, let's grab one of these fellows. And these are keyed. So, they only go one way. Am I right? Yes, they only go one way. So, button one will say button one will be this button. And we'll make all the toppies negative. And the bottoms positive. Get most of the power. Okay, there's the first one. And the second one. Come on, let go, baby. Let's follow suit. Because it really doesn't matter, it's just two wires. Plug him into number two. And then number three. The third one. Just 
kind of want to get it all nicely together so we can test it before we button it up and make it all nice and neat. Okay. And number four. Make you number four. If you've ever wired up the arcade cabinet, you have a lot of wires, awful lot of wires. But this, if this is the, as hard as it's going to get, this is pretty simple. Because we're going to configure it in software on Windows, or if you want to do Raspberry Pi, you can do that too. Uh, basically, select your buttons, say this is button one, button two, button three. So kind of want to play this with a... Uh, I'm back. I'm back. You're running, running low on space on the camera. So we got stopped. So I'm not sure what we lost, but that's fine. So that's basically... The buttons are all buttoned up. And we have two buttons left. The player one, player two, which I don't think we'll ever use, but uh, might as well plug them in. Because we could. We could if we wanted. Maybe we can set those up for something else. And we'll say this is that fellow, and then this fellow. There we go. And that's it. One beautiful little mess. plug in the USB port. All right, the camera was fighting me. It was fighting me. Sometimes you just want to want to fight you. So I gave up and I pulled out another camera so it might look a little different. But anyway, I got them all hooked up. So we got the first six go to these buttons. Top two buttons are the ones at the end. Probably won't use them. And of course the joystick goes into that port. So you really can't screw it up. I guess you can plug it in any port you want, but you got to know that, hey, number seven is this. But I think when you go through Windows, click on the buttons to say, pick A, B, C, D, E, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, it'll work out really well. And we have the joystick. So I think what we'll do, or we have the USB thing to plug in. And that, of course, goes, let's see, where's the key? Right here. We probably only have to, let's think if we can at least make it look a little prettier. Let's see. Let's see. How, let's test fit it. Let's do a test fit. This has to go on the side over here. That's a little slot right there. And this will put it right there, like so. Yeah, perfect. What do you think? Got to put that button back in there. Maybe we'll work on those two. These different. Never to come out. These. I'm not sure why they don't fit quite snug. Might be a little bending. But that is the joystick. So I'm going to hook it up to Windows, and we're going to give it a test, just for fun. I'm kind of, kind of excited about this now. Like I said, I don't think we're going to use these fellows. But anyway, anyway we'll save these guys, because in case we ever want to add some more things to it. And of course we've got some extra buttons. So let's hook it up to Windows to give it a test. Okay, i got Mr. Joystick. And we're going to go through the configuration, kind of see on here, the configuration is we can set the joystick and move the joystick around. Oops, let me move this out of your way. X, Y axis and the buttons. See, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like 12, 12 is stuck. There it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like she works. That's the test. And let's see, settings, set to default, calibrate. Here's a calibrate. No, I'm not going to do the calibrate. Oops. Let's do a test. 
It looks like it all works. So here we can button this fellow up. You see 12 sticking. So we kind of test it before. <clears throat> I think it's because they're touching. There. Oops, they are touching. Touching is bad. Okay. So now we have a little bit better. I gotta be careful when I close this up that I do not touch. So anyway, there you go. Configured. There you go. That is our joystick project. The only thing I have left. Got some of these little feet. I like to put feet on things. Except I wasn't gonna use the rubber uh, uh little bumpers, or little rubber suction cups, because I just don't like those that much. If we put these fellows on, this will be just as good. Get them off. And put them like right there. There's one. And the other one right here. And that one right about there. Got the other one there, a little farther. There you go. And the last one we'll put right here. Okay, there we go. That'll keep it from sliding around while we're playing some uh, heavy duty gaming. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video and find it kind of fun and useful. Maybe you'll make a joystick on your own. Uh, you can also, if you want to drill some more holes, you can put some more buttons somewhere up here, maybe a couple more buttons if you wanted like turbo buttons or some other wacky button, whatever you wanted. But I think having six buttons is more than enough for pretty much any game you want to play. But like I said, I'm going to play like uh, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, uh, ColecoVision, you know, stuff like that, emulating kind of things. So anyway, there you go. One joystick. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You, that's you. Have a great day.